Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a general collective diary reading session for you Sagittarius. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is a general collective reading. Let us see what's coming towards you in love and general situationship. What is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the beautiful Sagittarius friends out there, okay? And of course, before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the bell. Click the bell now and click notification all. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Someone is inviting you for a road trip. Okay. Get ready. I feel like this is someone of a lover's energy or a past. I feel like it's an ex. There's an ex, Sagittarius, or a past person who you're quite on and off. Like you're doing a lot of coupling stuff. You're going to be invited to travel with them. It could be a road trip, but to travel. If they cannot travel towards your place, they will book you to travel towards them. And I feel like it's scheduled August month. Okay? Six of Swords. You know, the Lover's card. You know, I will... Like, I will take you with me. Ooh, nice. Nice. That's very good. Let's see. I'll put it back because I feel like it's an extra message. What's coming towards Sagittarius? Ooh, look at that. Now it's ready. Okay. The death card in upright position. You got a queen of cups in reverse. Someone is not prepared to give up. Look at that. There's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. <clears throat> Aries Leo Sagittarius, the death card. You break up. Okay, you break up. The breakup was not nice. This is a love reading. So you break up. The breakup is not nice. Queen of Cups, they remain to be loyal with their feelings, you know, in the sense that, okay, I'm admitting that I'm not done with Sagittarius. Queen of Cups, the death card. Ace of Wands, August month. Okay. It's a lot of August month energy in here. I will still do a full month of August just in case I miss something because I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this after the full moon. So I feel like there's more. There's a lot of action pack happening in the lot in August, September, October, November, December. So I'll probably do uh, the next 24 hours so that we capture the energy, the changes, the free will of people. Um, so let's make the most out of it in the last five months of 2021. Yeah. So expect me to, to, you know, to deliver a lot of next 24 hours reading. So click the bell, click subscribe. So I feel like there's going to be a return. Ease of Wands. I feel like it's an X. It's so difficult. They find it difficult to contact you, to pursue you, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's worth the shot. I feel like it's a, it's, um, you know, it's. It's worth the shot. It's um, it's an August month thingy. It's an August August month energy. <clears throat> it it could be a person who is, um, if not same age, they could be older than you. I find them really very wise. You know, they they're very <clears throat> they're very wise. Like they have full of excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I find this person very wise and they have lots of pride. Six of Wands, look at that, the bottom of the card. They're very wise. Like they have this entitlement that I'll never go back with you or they made you feel like they will not change their mind, that they're the person that don't chase, but they do now, you know. They're lowering their guard. The ego is out. And all they want is to connect with you. I feel like this person could be your neighbor. They're so impatient to visit your house. Or I don't know, due to pandemic, there's some sort of restri restriction between the two of you. But all they have in their mind is to connect. Yeah, four of cups in reverse. So it means they're really, really wanting to do that in the long, long time. Like they've been wanting to do it for, you know, for quite some time. But it's just that the energy, look at that seven of wands. They finally had a breakthrough. You know, seven of wands, they will fight for you. Like, it's it's just it's just out of nowhere. They feel like it's it's a feeling of they you upset them, they upset you. But I feel like they realize how much you mean to them when you got separated, when you got disconnected. This time around, this person, they don't have a pride. They're gonna take down their pride. You know, like 
I really feel like this person is egocentric. Like it would hurt them. <laughs> like this person, it 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 pinch. Like if they're the one who's gonna reach out and stuff like that. But they're surrendering that. You know, ego is out. Love is in. You know, and I feel like this person is very lonely. They've been searching for a lover. You know, they gave you up, and you realize like seven of wands. Hmm. I could not find a match as perfect as Sagittarius. I mean. They're very tired, but they're willing to fight towards getting you back. You know? There's a lot of maturity I'm feeling towards this person. And, you know, they're very masculine, Sagittarius. This person is really, it's, they, they, they do not accept a failure. They only want a yes from you. Okay? They're quite persuasive. <clears throat> like, you, you haven't even said yes. They are already planning they are already planning, um, I don't know, the following weeks, the months, like, the way they talk to you is like, they have an understanding that you're gonna get back together, or this is a reconciliation, you know, it's, it's, it's a person who does not want to go in details about what they did in the past, I'm sorry about that, blah, 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 they just want to move towards, oh, hi, hello, how's things, and when you, because I feel like you're gonna accommodate the call, you're going to allow them to connect. They have an understanding that you're still open for reconciliation. And then, then when they put down the phone or when you finish the conversation, the next thing that they would say, okay, when can I see you? Or I'll call you in the evening. You know, it seems to be that this person is, um, they're, they're putting back the way things were in the past. Like how you communicate. I'm sure there's a pattern that they normally call you in the morning or probably in the mini in the evening. But they, they are you know, they're, they're, that pattern, that cycle, they're beginning to introduce that again. So there's some sort of entitlement, although it's not official, but they're feeling like because you're talking to me, I'm assuming that I'm entitled to talk to you again and to call and to text. So make sure that make sure that you you have you are at the same page because this person is assuming that you're gonna you're gonna get back. Because I find you Sagittarius, you're very you're not rude. You know, you're you're very diplomatic, you're not rude, you're very patient, you you have so much understanding of the situation. You know. So there's a little bit of hesitation coming from you, but this person is the your hesitation, it would be somehow you could not concentrate, I don't know, for saying it. I don't know, I feel like you could not concentrate on saying no to this person because they keep on talking and talking and talking and all what they all what this person is updating, it's good update. It's good update. But actually, you miss them. But, you know, a lot of things has happened ever since this person, you know, talked to them. I feel like this is a love reading. <laughs> okay. So, that's the first reading. Let's see. Let's look at general. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This this card is still pretty much connected to a love reading. You're scared to take a risk. Like, you're, you're quite guarded. So, in your communication, in your... Like... You're talking, but you're quiet. You're more of a listener. You're a listener. When you converse with this person, I feel like, look at that, seven of cups. You're overwhelmed. Like, what? Really? You want me back? Like, the way this person talked to you, it's pretty obvious they want you back. And you're just listening, because I think you're you're needing time to comprehend their comeback. Okay? Whew, let's close that off. Okay, that was long. Let's see the general. General. Okay, general. Okay, seven of swords. Eight of pentacles. The justice card. <clears throat> so for general. Okay. In terms of general reading, Sagittarius. Seven of swords. If, if you are dealing with some sort of transaction request. Maybe purchasing something, but if there's some sort of transaction, negotiation this week, um, or yeah, negotiation and transaction this week, seven of swords, that's not the cheapest way. I don't know if you're signing up a contract, you're working into something and you've chose this agent or sales executive or this company, that's not the cheapest. Okay, eight of pentacles. Look for other alternative. For example, you consult a doctor and the doctor said, this is the price. You know, don't settle for that. Try to find another doctor, another agent, 
another company and compare their price because you would realize that, ooh, that is much cheaper, more efficient. And you might get it for free or a discount, okay? So there's something this week that you might be working towards buying transaction, contract, maybe you're purchasing a service. Try to do three comparison, three. Compare the price, the service, because you will get a much cheaper, more quality, more discount. Okay? I mean, you'll save money in this. So, make sure that you are dealing with the right people, person that will give you the best benefit or the best perks. You know, the best offer. Don't settle for the first one. Go and try to make a comparison. You'll be surprised how much money you'll save. You might even get it for free or you might even get it for like a buy one, take one. But some good perks is is there it's out there for you so this is your reading it's a pleasure doing the reading to you sagittarius um check out sunshine-tv.com we're offering a subscription um fee or plan you know it's not much um in there in the subscription plan you're gonna get a daily collective reading access to extended reading and the profit will go to my charity and also in youtube we are offering a membership, which is also a daily co collective reading and um, full moon and new moon reading and other special reading that I would post only for members. And um, again, all profit goes to my charity. And I thank you in advance for supporting me there. I will see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.